Look at the temperatures yesterday. Solid mid 80s all afternoon, although it did go up briefly into the upper 80s. So similar setup for us today. Right now we're sitting at about 69 degrees in the Tampa area. Low to mid 60s inland like Brandon, for instance, at 64. You get up to Inverness at 63 degrees there. Upper 60s to around 70 for Sarasota. Uh, I've got, again, Venice near 70, mid-60s, Wachula and Arcadia. So not a bad start to the day, pretty similar to yesterday. I was looking at the 24-hour temperature change. It was like zero, one, zero, one. So we're basically in the same situation as we were yesterday morning. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Same thing for today. That northeast wind will move across the state. We keep the humidity in the low to moderate category, and the rain chances under 10%. So not that we couldn't get this tiny little sprinkle or quick shower to move through over the next couple of afternoons, but in general, nothing organized, which is uh, going to be moving through the area, which is not atypical of late October. Late October, early November, or really November is a very dry month and we don't get a lot of rain. So it's not typically in the forecast anyway. I'm still stunned at what Hurricane Otis did. Yesterday morning, at 8 o'clock in the morning, her, this was a tropical storm, and it just made landfall three hours ago in Acapulco with 165 mile per hour winds. Cat, Cat 5 hurricane, strongest hurricane to make landfall on the west side of Mexico ever. Probably the, ra the fastest rapid intensification as well. Acapulco was not anticipating a Cat 5 hurricane. They were anticipating a tropical storm or a minor Cat 1 hurricane. So I can't even imagine what's going on right there now. So warm and windy for us, partly cloudy, your high of 87 degrees. Uh, we will stay in the upper 80s for highs over the next six, seven days. Uh, nothing more than a 20% rain chance and lows in the upper 60s to around 70.